Hi everyone, this is David, and welcome to Week 7 of JWI 505 Business Communications. This week you're going to get a start on your last major assignment for this course, which is assignment number 3, in which you're going to give an online presentation using a PowerPoint type platform. Now, in studying about this presentation, getting started on it this week, you're focused especially on how to open how to get that initial connection with your audience and get their attention and their interest in their buy-in. One of the techniques that you're given for doing this opening effectively is storytelling, which reminds me of a story. It's about two very devout monks walking in the mountains and meditating, and they happen upon a woman standing at a stream crying. As they approach, the woman turns around and says, Please, won't you help me? The rains have swollen the stream and I can't cross to get home to my children. In which case, the first monk hoists the woman upon his back and together all three of them cross the stream. And the first monk sets the woman down and the two monks walk off, all without saying a word. About two hours later of walking in silence, the second monk can contain himself no longer and says, I've got to know, how dare you? How could you break our solemn vow never to touch a woman? I don't understand. To which the first monk replies, Brother, I set that woman down at the river. Why are you still carrying her? So, as you approach this final assignment in 505, which is an online presentation, a video, I want you to set down. I want you to put away all of your past memories, all of your past experiences, all of your past history with giving presentations. And I want you to open yourself up to these new ideas that you're going to be encountering this week for how to give a presentation. And one of those key ideas comes from the video of the TEDx talk in which you're told to take the word speech, write it on a piece of paper, circle it, and then place a big red X through it. Because you are never to give a speech. You're never to give a talk. You are to have a conversation. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation. One that shows your passion your empathy, your true concern about the subject matter and the people you're talking to. It's a conversation, not a speech. Okay, with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our week seven resources. Impact the audience. And here you have your two objectives, which are to one, examine techniques to engage and hold audience attention. And two, to develop presentation openers that provide meaning and connection for the audience. And you're going to help do that with, I think, some outstanding materials this week. First is the usual lecture PDF, in which you are really told about the importance of hooking and holding your audience at the very beginning, and how that hooking and holding is often done with a story. You're also told about what we've talked about before, which is what's really in it for me and knowing your audience and giving the presentation for your audience, not for yourself. Getting over that kind of self-consciousness to focus on the human beings directly in front of you. Who should be engaged? Here you are given some great advice about pre-engaging your audience, especially the thought leaders in that audience before your talk even begins. Great PDF as usual. Now comes the chapter 5 in the Munter and Hamilton book. They, as you know, divide up meetings into three kinds, tell, sell, Q&A, and consult, join. Now you're going to be doing a tell, sell in your presentation here in your assignment number three. The chapter 7 by Halperin and Lubar focus on some excellent stories about how stories have been used in some very high-powered situation with high-powered individuals. Really some, uh, some excellent stories there and shows you kind of how a story can be shaped to achieve these kinds of purposes that we're talking about. Here is an excellent article 
done by Sparkle. Sparkle are the people who make the online software tool VideoScribe. And this article goes through eight presentation openers. In other words, here are eight different techniques that you can choose from among as your opening gambit. So read them, all eight of them, and each of them has a wonderful example of it. Read all eight techniques and find the one that you think works best for you. And go ahead and in the discussion board this week, you'll see how you will take that choice and begin developing it. Now here is the Telling Tales video that I was talking about. To me, this video really does get to the heart of the matter. This is someone who teaches public speaking or teaches presentation or teaches the idea of talking to an audience, Richard Green, and he's done it to royalty. He tells the story of his sessions with Princess Diana, and he really does have a key point here, and that is don't make a speech, have a conversation. Really, the key idea. And he also does a great job with the seven secrets of great presentation. So be sure to have a list of those seven secrets in your mind that you can draw upon. Here's an outstanding document from the Harvard Business Review. One of the things I like best about this document is this table right here. Tell me that this table right here would not make an excellent tool. Print it out, cut it out, save it, laminate it. But here you have on the left different objectives you wish to achieve by telling your story. And then the kind of story you will need to achieve that objective. And then some tips and techniques for carrying it out. A really excellent tool that I think you should save for the rest of your career until you have it memorized. Now, in our discussion, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to choose a technique for opening up your presentation. Choose one of the eight techniques that were reviewed earlier from that article, and then state what you think your presentation topic's going to be. Why does that topic matter, especially to you and to your audience? And the more that it matters, the more motivation there will be. Then, second, you're going to identify what technique you will use for your presentation opening. Then you're going to explain how you're actually going to use that presentation technique. In other words, you're actually going to kind of rough in the opening here of your presentation. And then we'll be giving you feedback on the opening, that all-important time when you clarify what you're talking about and grab the audience's attention and their allegiance to you as a speaker. Now, all of this, as we said, is in preparation for your assignment number three. So let's take a look at that. Presentation, design, and delivery. Okay, it's due in week nine. This assignment, you will apply the practices of planning, creating, and delivering an impactful professional presentation. Identify an important presentation coming up at work in your near future. If you don't have one on the horizon, choose a worthy topic for your role, business, or industry. This could be a presentation at a conference, to your board, your management team, your own team, or key decision makers. And your instructions are, prepare a presentation slide deck. Now, you don't have to use PowerPoint. There are lots of presentation platforms out there. But it should be less than 20 slides. Because of the time limit that you have here, four to 10 minutes, I highly recommend that you have fewer than 20 slides. Now, be sure to apply slide design best practices, and I'm going to be giving you some materials to help you do that. Today's best practices in slide design are minimal text, maximum images, professional look and feel. Why? Because slides are a visual accompaniment to your presentation. They do not contain your presentation. You contain your presentation and you give it coming from your mouth. The slides are there simply as visual accompaniments and in the case of data 
to provide a look at a data set for reference. Two, deliver a four to 10 minute presentation on your topic of choice using Zoom. And I'm going to be making another Zoom tutorial video for you. And A through F outline some of the criteria on which the presentation will be measured. And of course, we have several weeks to work on this, so I don't want you fretting over it right now. Right now, focusing on this one step at a time. This first step is to choose a topic, and let's talk about the topic and clarify it, broaden it or narrow it, as the case may be. And the second step is to choose a really strong strategy for your opening that fits your audience and your presentation and the situation, and then begin to develop that opening. I will tell you that it is very, very important, and you had a video by Nancy Duarte this week, and she will tell you the same thing. I highly encourage you, by the way, to go to YouTube and subscribe to Nancy Duarte's YouTube channel. She has some excellent free stuff on presentations. Now, let me go back to the uh, point I was making. One of the things that Nancy Duarte will tell you is that first you write the script then you design the PowerPoint. This is so important for you guys. Do not try to design the slides and write the script or write the presentation at the same time. First comes the script, then comes the design of the slides. Please believe me on that. So don't get ahead of yourself this week on that. Just focus on what you have in front of you, your topic and your opening, okay? All right, as usual, any questions, problems, concerns, whatever, please give me a call, shoot me an email, and we're going to do a great job. You're going to do a great job on this final assignment. You're going to enjoy it, and it's going to be an important watermark in your development of giving professional presentations. Talk to you later.